When you sign up for a Google account, you can then go to youtube.com and set up your YouTube channel. So this would be a standard YouTube channel and there are a number of features which we'll talk about throughout the remainder of this course. Let's look at beginning with uploading a video. So this is where you upload a video. You click on this button up in the corner and then you upload video. It then takes you to this screen where you can select your file to upload and then choose whether it will be public, meaning everyone can see it. Unlisted means it's viewable, but only by those who have the link. Private means it's viewable only by certain people. And scheduled means that um, it is to go live. So let's upload a video. And then we choose our video and we press OK. So as YouTube starts uploading the video, we're able to optimize um, our description, our title and our tags in tandem with, with our upload. And then when we're happy, we can press publish. Then when the video is uploaded, we can go ahead and publish it. Currently it's saved as a draft, so it's not live just yet. At the bottom, we can choose a particular thumbnail. This is our starting screen. So something that we feel might be interesting to our audience or indeed um, choose a file that we can customize ourselves. But we'll go into editing historical videos for thumbnails later too. So we'll just publish that and that goes live onto our channel. Now we can still edit the video, like certain aspects of the video, the metadata of the video. When we're in the upload stage, we have our basic info here, which is our title, description, and our tags. We also have different translation stuff if we want to add that in there. And then we have some advanced settings and we can just personalize a little bit more about our video, allow people to contribute, allow people to share the video, embed the video and we can set a category for what exactly the content of the video is about. Now if we want to go back or edit historical videos which, you've, which we have uploaded we can go to the YouTube studio which is available when you click the top right icon and then click on YouTube studio. This brings us to our studio dashboard and we can just click on videos to see all of the videos that we have uploaded. In our video list, we can simply click on the video itself. That will allow us to edit different aspects of the video, including up the top here, the advanced area, or indeed the thumbnail area. So we have these three thumbnails that YouTube has automatically designed and designated to us, but we're able to drag and drop our own image file that we can use as a starting frame and that will be the thumbnail video for our video upload. Then to enhance our video with simple callouts, we can go to the other featured section of our studio and then go to cards. Then in the card section, we can add a card here and we can create a video or playlist and a channel card, a poll. And when we do have our website linked to our YouTube channel, we can provide a link. So these are ways, they're little things that appear here and you can promote additional content, additional videos that you think might be relevant to this. You can promote another channel, you can ask a poll or you can direct people to an offsite link. It's a way of adding interactivity to your YouTube videos in a very effective way. And you don't have to pay for these, these are these are part of the YouTube organic features. Now just remember, YouTube isn't the most intuitive navigational system. So up in this right hand corner here, you should always go back to my channel and then start from there because otherwise you can get lost within the YouTube interface as it's quite difficult to just navigate around. Now we do have our shortcut to YouTube studio here when we're on channel and we do have customized channel settings here, but we'll go into those again later.